How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is the day of another day of another day that we call Thursday. It would have been said, What's going on, people? Hopefully, everybody's doing everything as far as being safe in this world. We're living and knocking down doors and making your dreams come true. <laughs> You know, I was in that thinking, I was like, you know, you said, say what I'm saying. And I want to know, do you know what I'm going to say when I say it? Do you say it with me? Do you be like, um, hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, or what's up, people? You know, anyway, it is what it is. Anyway, um, what's kind of people? Uh, I want to talk to you something, especially the two spirit girls like myself. Like I always tell you, I love anybody who's different. I'm not perfect, clearly that's what you hear. I make more mistakes than most of you probably ever will in life. I probably have been in more fist fights than more than you are I have been in life. I'm sure I've been jumped more than most have been in life. Spit on whatever it case to be. I've been through it. And <sighs> As a two-spirit person, I'm not perfect. I started from gay land to Ubala land and um, there is no book, there is no direct way anybody gets here, but I try to share my experience and my struggles and everything with you, whether it's good, bad, and different, with makeup, without makeup, look at the hot mess, take everything off and try to show you not to give a fuck. To be blunt. And the reason why I try to show you not to give a fuck why I come out and you say, Well damn baby, you look bad. I mean damn girl, you ain't got no hair, you got no makeup, or you like it, you're giving us too you're giving us too much. And the reason why I do that to you is because I want you to see that nothing in this world really matters but your own opinion. And when you're looking for other people's approval when it comes down to you standing your truth is when you lose. Do you know what I said? When you look for other people's approval and their opinion of you is when you lose. When you start living is when you start thinking of only yourself. It may sound selfish, but in the, when you're a two-spirit woman, you have to be, or a man, you have to be the person who don't give a damn. The day you stop caring about what's beyond the door, as far as your looks, as far as being passable, as far as being presentable, when you stop caring, it's the day you're going to start living. Now me and myself, I took with the little struggle and stuff like that and you know, you watch me give different videos and different views because when you are a person like myself, which I'm sure the girls like me and also the trans men, you gotta understand, everybody comes with a pad and pistol and we're, they're marking all shit. Well, you know, and the thing about it is that they disrespect us right to our face and they don't want us to react. You know, they be like, oh well, you know, I, well, you, I wouldn't think you're a girl and they start going up and down you. And your eyes are looking at them, dissect you to find what may look like a man in front of you. Now the problem of that is, I keep people distance away from me only because I know when somebody's trying to be friends with me, it's because you're trying to lead up to the question of questions. Now some girls don't have their problems, I think some girls that's very beautiful, it's very passable, but there are the ones who like me that are not passable and not beautiful when it comes to the idea of what society says is being passable. Now me myself, I don't even, I don't want to disrespect anyone. I'm not here to shoot someone down. But I learned that I've been lied to when it comes to being a two-spirit woman. I've seen cis women taller than me, cis women that look nothing like a woman, cis women that look just like a man. And I love women, so I'm not a disrespect to them. But when it comes down to a two-spirit person that's transferred from M to F, we get ridiculed so bad. And they tell us that's not what a woman looks like. They don't look like you. And here it is, I'm looking at a woman that I'm taller than me, look just like a guy, no disrespect to women, but they're women. So we're being structured a certain type of way that's not true. And we're being told that we're going to be passable, to be beautiful. We have to look a certain way, and it's not true. In order to embrace who you are, you have to accept everything that's a part of you. 
And once you start giving it in with everyone else, you say, my Jesus, then you start living. There are females out here, you know, that's how you go through the life and stuff like that. And, you know, they go through it for it and they get disrespected as well. There are trans women that are being murdered. There are many more women in the world that's been murdered way more than trans women. Okay, I'm going to say this again. There are many cis women that have been murdered more than trans women. And I said this before and I'm going to say it again. The reason why trans women are having such a problem with this is because you are in their category as far as a woman. Now, you, since you're in their category, only way you can understand, understand what's happening to being a two-spirit woman, you have to be a two-spirit woman. Cis women have been murdered for years. And if you notice, it's unreported as much. 65,000 black women are missing in the world. And I'm sure there's even a lot more larger number of white women that's been murdered and stuff by their men. But if you're not a trans woman, it doesn't really relate to you. But once you are a trans woman, and you're seeing trans sisters being murdered, now it's like, oh, they're just attacking us. No, you took on the title of being a woman. And everything comes to being a woman is also the bad part. Sure, I don't want any woman or anyone to be murdered, but at the end of the day, in order to walk in a woman's shoes, you have to go through all her experiences. As far as being a, a, a cis male before and stuff like that, whether you transition or not, you have privileges. Once you became a woman, those privileges are now rejected. Now, the women's rights and stuff like that is now taken back as far as trying to become stronger leaders and they go back and reference to the girls, women, stop, when they need women empowerment and women need to stop going against women the same way trans women do with other trans women. Now I don't like it but it is what it is. And I don't agree with a lot of things in this world but who am I? I'm just one person. And I fall, I fall short, fall even shorter than many if not most. I'm not perfect. I fall off the balance. That's why I love my sisters who like me or my trans brothers. Only because you are the mirror image of me. And sure you may not be proud of me. Sure you may say, well you're not the mirror image of me. You know, you're too tall, you're too ugly, you look too much like a man to be a woman. So you're not the mirror image of me. And that's fine. Because at the end of the day, no matter how much you disrespect me or put me down, I'm still a part of you. And sure sometimes I may not like some of my sisters and the way they come across, but they're still a part of me. And as long as they're living and they're moving forward in their life, whether I agree with them or not, I need them still to live. And I may not agree with a lot of things they do and it makes me sad because some of them go against us, but that's why they're black people that are coons. They're a variety of everything. And I don't like a lot of things, but I have no choice but to still push through. I watch a lot of beautiful, passable trans women that are very beautiful, passable, and I talk to y'all, and y'all know who y'all are. Your first thing y'all say is, I'm not passable. I said, but you are. But I understand why she's saying it, because she's been told that she's not passable. She has been brainwashed to hate who she is. And until we correct those type of things and get rid of the people that put that negative thought into our head, we're going to lose. You have to surround yourself around people like you, that struggle with you, that understand you, and say, girl, this is going to be all right. Who gives a fuck about being passive? Let's just be happy. Because at the end of the day, if you think about it, nobody is perfect. But the thing about it I do know is nobody's passive as they think they are. Even the most beautiful girl have a complex. Even the most finest men have a complex. Nobody is great as they try to pretend to be. But I understand when it comes to a two-spirit woman and a two-spirit man, we get ridiculed the most. Everybody grabs their no big pen and paper and they start judging. But they don't look at themselves and want to be judged. Once upon a time I see a lot of men down here that talk about us and everything and I'm looking at him and I'm saying, are you in contact with your mirror? A lot of women come after us and I'm saying, are you in contact with your mirror? Can you be a person and walk from one gender to another gender, walk outside the society and be as strong as we are? But no, you can't. you rather be a part of the problem instead of being part of the solution. You can actually open up doors for a lot of people out here that's trying to struggle, that's trying to get from the struggle to help them instead of shooting them down. Every time a trans woman or a trans man like this given a job, you have to say, I love a trans person. You have helped another family live a little longer. Nobody likes doing videos in reference to the girls being murdered. I know I don't. It kills me. I need my sisters and my brothers way more than they ever need me because they are a blood of myself. And I need them. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you. I don't know why this video got so deep, but 
It's got to be the universe because this is not a part of my vision. This was not a part of the plan, but it is what it is. I let, I let God work through me. I let the universe work through me. So it was a message to somebody. So when somebody needs to receive this message, I receive it to you. I hope and you I hope you race and I hope you take everything that needs to be from this video that's positive. And then today, like I said before, practice ignore. Stop letting people live red space in your ear. That's not supposed to be there. If, nobody, if somebody's not for you, please get rid of them and get around the people that's supporting you. Anyway, like I said before, I love your feedback and then subscribe to my channel and there's the Instagram button at the top. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. I'll be looking for your comments and I love everybody who's different and can stand in your truth and don't care about other people as long as they're being happy. I love you, especially the parents who support their trans and gay people, children. I love you, I love you, and thank you for watching Catch the Read. Oh, right now. Come on, baby. Let's go on Instagram. I feel a little red today. Woo! Like I said before, if you have a story you want me to cover, you can email me at ravenover at yahoo.com. At the top, there's the Instagram button. If you follow me, I'll follow you back. Did you subscribe yet? Oh, come on, man. What are you doing? You ain't scrolling my channel. What are you doing? You ain't gonna scroll. You better scroll my channel. What you doing? <laughs> what you mean you don't want to scroll my channel? <laughs> come on, man. Love you. Love you.